Wasp going quick and Sopwanger opening things up. And Fakatoa couldn't hold it. Opportunity here for McConaughey. Big fan from McConaughey. Strong finish. What an opening for Bath. Adventure from Wasps. Punished in the corner by the former England Sevens man. That's a really good start from Bath. Great possibilities here. All great with a first line out throw. Picks out Gaskell. First job done. Well, Groy latching on behind Shields. He's getting very close to the try line. Stop just two metres short. Penalty advantage being played. Advantage being played. There for Robson. Throws an elaborate dummy. Releases Umanga. Oh, that's clever. That's so clever. Umanga with the touchdown. But how good was that from Dan Robson? Naughty. So frustrating. The forwards think they've done their job. And an error, everyone stops, the unexpected happens. And Robson reacts the quickest, gets himself out of the hole. And as soon as he does, ties in one more defender, releases Umanga, who's the quickest to react on his shoulder. Brilliant score. Bath will be devastated to have conceded that. But Wasps taking their opportunity. It's class. Absolute brilliant, isn't it? Cross comes Priestland, big tackle. Watson Line for out, Robson. Play on. And touch, which again, they're not much interested in Wasps. Here goes Fakitoa. All action, high-octane stuff from Lee Blackett's men. Storming through the middle is Willis. Power in the carry. Once more they go, Shields within reaching distance and then over the try line. It's come for Tom West, broad smiles all round, asked to play hooker not that long ago, no thanks very much, I'll take the try scoring option instead. Oh, what a moment for Wasps to go the length of the field in effect very, very quickly under massive pressure themselves. Brilliant decision making in there. When Underhill gives away the penalty, Robson just looks at the referee with the ball in hand, says, Give it to me, I want to tap and go. They know they don't want to kick into the corner, they haven't got the line out to do it. And then they keep it alive. They get a bit of fortune here. Robson just flings it back inside. They take the quick throw in again, again, keeping that tempo up. Brilliant carry from Willis, putting them on the front foot. Shields almost could have reached out here himself, but he buys his, buys his time. And the man who hasn't played hooker for three years has the energy from not trying to scrummage yeah, in a position he's not familiar with to be right on hand and score the try. Ewells climbing highest, the captain. Spencer urging them forwards, they may Always have come bad. to a grinding halt. No, they splinter Always away bad. very effectively. And they're marching up towards the Wasp try line. They're over the try line. And Jack Walker try. is try. celebrating. What a bit of driving work. Huge moment. You can see the isolation, only one Wasp player. I think it was Tom Willis who was in there. He didn't know what to do. He didn't know whether to pull it down, risk the penalty try in the automatic sin bin. In the end, he decides against it, but all those yellow shirts being driven towards the touchline, and as they spin now, Wasps lose all their defence, and they just break away against... It's Jack Willis, isn't it? Who can't do anything legally to stop that on his own. The setup perfect. Bit of a wobbler, but it's enough for Shields, and Wasps know that this could be their moment. It's a bit high at the moment, they need to transfer that ball to the back, otherwise they're going to be in danger. A lot of bodies going in to try and release it. Now they've got some momentum, now they've got it safe, Underhill's in there. Yeah, he's the lone survivor at the moment, it's a penalty try! as well. If it's a penalty try and you can identify who prevented the try from their illegal actions, it's an automatic yellow. It's mean, it's unfair, Bath have the double jeopardy, Wasps don't. And that will mark a terrific win for Lee Blackett's men. Incredible resolve, great character. From 13-0 down and players strewn all over the field, but they've beaten Bath and Bath unbeaten to this point.